This video is about everything I know about the Reverse Blast Dash move of Monster Hunter Sunbreak. Reverse Blast Dash is the most versatile gunlance move in the story of the series to the point of being very low-key overpowered. It was very underrated before the launch of the game because it is not flashy at all and just look like a blast dash that doesn't fly as far, goes backwards and costs a very precious resource of wirebugs. The apparent advantage of the move was adding a shield bash that can cause some small damage but is not what really makes the move. The biggest two things about reverse blast dash is move cancellation feature and massive iframes and super armor of the skill. First thing to note is while the name includes the word reverse, almost nobody uses it to get fly backwards and there is little reason to do it other than maybe getting away from an unblockable attack. Reverse Blast Dash can be used in any direction when you input the move while you are stuck in the recovery of an attack animation. You can use it freely even after attacks that normally have no or very limited combo options like Wyvern Fire or Worm Stake Cannon. In the past I always said that even if Wyvern Fire did outstanding damage, it overall DPS was awful because all the time it took to fire and then the massive recovery time paired with a recoil that took you too far from the monster, more so if the Wyvern Fire knocked the monster away. And Reverse Blast Dash just cuts down the recovery and allows you to immediately get back to monster range, losing no time. And this applies to your whole moveset allowing you to keep attacking 24-7 non-stop. Reverse Blast is a wonderful movement tool to the point that I no longer classify Evade Extender as a must-have skill for gunlance. Evade Extender is still neat if you have the spare lots but replacing your evasions with Reverse Blast is so much better. The range of movement is better, the attack options after using it are better, can be used faster after more moves, hurts the enemy and finally enables maximum might as an optimal skill for gunlance. Since reverse blast does not require any stamina you can keep the bonus forever and 1 level 4 max might 2 is 20% affinity, compare critical I2 that is 10% affinity. So to start, reverse blast means you are saving 4 skill points that you can invest in other stuff like more damage potential or survival or whatever. And if you want it, you can even replace guarding with it thanks to the incredible iframes and super armor. Guarding is even worse evading as a reaction because there are even less moves you can cancel into your guard. Furthermore, you can't really cancel anything at all into a regular guard, you must wait your full attack animation to end before the guarding happens. For making guarding useful you must use guard reload and then you can finally cancel some moves into your guard at the cost of a about 10% slower reload that unless you are using a wide gunlance aren't getting all your shells back. Guarding also can have a hefty skill cost. Guard 5 needs at least 1 level 2 and 2 level 3 decorations and that is still not enough for some attacks and monsters so you may need up to 3 extra points of emboldenment for total protection. And on top of all this, you will need to invest some in guard up for a couple attacks. Guarding skill tax is very costly and is really only worth it if you are using a wide gunlance with guard reload. Reverse blast has 0.63 seconds of total invulnerability, almost two thirds of a second. For reference, a hop without any evade window is 0.13 seconds that is nothing at all and with evade windows 5 becomes 0.27 seconds. 2 and a third more invulnerability than with evade window 5. But wait, things get better. If you are out of shells while using reverse blast, you will get invulnerability for the whole reload animation so you get a whole second. If you see a monster about to do an evade or die move and you want to be sure to make it, unload your shells, in his face and use this, you will make it for sure. And if you fail the iframe for a bit, don't worry you get some super armor after it, you don't get knocked and can keep the attack or just get away to heal safely. Guarding still is convenient to play the wait for the opening game against very aggressive games but I will be lying if I don't say that reversing through stuff is more efficient, and raises your damage with the follow-up attacks. The shield attack of reverse blast has good and bad stuff, the good thing is that it can inflict stun to the monster if you hit the head. Exactly you will deal 30 stun value with it. Is not much but is good enough to stun a monster at least one time per hunt, much easier if you have followers with blunt weapons like a minoto with a hunting horn like how almost everyone uses. This stun value can be raised like any other blunt attack with the slugger skill. Hits to the head with the bash also will raise some exhaust, 20 points that is kinda useless compared with the exhaust focused weapons. Now the very bad news. The shield bash uses not the elemental or status qualities of the gunlance you are using, none, zero. 
this makes both a bit worse for gunlands than already are. Important about the status part is that of course you will not benefit from build up boost at all, so the real DPS increase of build up boost is even lower than it should be. Using a reverse blast dash like with the regular blast dash will make you fire an uncharged shell at the normal damage value. The damage is boosted by the special effect of Amatsu Gunlands that is a fun thing but not too hot. The follow-up attacks after using reverse blast dash are the same as with a regular one. The best is to use the super fast slam into full burst but since they reduced the cost of hail cutter to one wire bug and the inclusion of frenzy berserker and wind mantle the option to use one or two air shells into hail cutter has become very attractive. The hail cutter slam is the strongest gunlands move in the game and has a 2x elemental modifier and on top of all this you will recharge all your shells for a stronger follow up burst. And hail cutter will make the chain dogs use their move that do hundreds of damage. Doing a reverse blast into one or many shells into hail cutter is no doubt the strongest combo in the game. For gunnels. Another important tool is the synergy with sneak attack since it is very easy to evade an attack and continue flying to the monster backside. Reverse Blast Dash makes Sneak Attack a much better skill. The only backdraw of Reverse Blast Dash is the Wirebug cost and that has become a lot more easy to deal with with the updates. Wind Mantle cuts your cooldowns up to 40% and with 3 Wirebugs you can basically only do Reverse Dashes and nothing else and still never be out of Wirebugs. Frenzy Berserker allowing you to easily have 3 Wirebugs or raise them to 4 makes everything much more reliable. The thing about reverse blast dash allowing you to move faster than running makes it so you can keep the buff of wind mantle going forever until the monster changes areas and not putting away your weapon also means big synergy with ground splitter. So basically the slots you save from not having to take evade extender, window or guard are used to boost your wirebug recovery. That is something you sure were going to do anyways. And I think this is everything. Reverse blast dash is just a perfect move. Fast, cancelable. Big frames go into the strongest attacks of the weapon. The only real problem is that it is too good and can even result in a more boring game when you have the same answer to every problem. Need to move? Reverse blast. Need to attack? Reverse blast. Need to dodge? Reverse blast. Need to guard? Reverse blast. Need to heal? Put your weapon away and eat something. Or reverse blast with blood blight or blood right and get your health back. Seriously, dude, seriously.